What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Twitter followers by creating a simple workflow in any turn. Let's get started. To create Twitter followers, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to create any website and automate projects. So to get 30% off your first purchase of this tool, just click the link down below in the description. And then go ahead and create an account on Appify. And after creating an account on Appify, head over to Appify store. Yeah, we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape Twitter. In Twitter, we'd like to scrape followers. So I'm going to search for Twitter follower scraper. And click on search. And here, you can see the various tools that we can use to scrape followers from Twitter. I'm going to use this tool over here. So I'll open this tool on a new tab. This is the tool that we're going to use to scrape followers from Twitter. So all you have to do is add your username over here and then and the maximum number of followers that you'd like to scrape. For example, here I've added my username. I would, I would like to scrape 60 followers from my account. To do that, I'll click on start over here to scrape followers from my page. You can see that our tool is running. So I'll click on output to get the data. And here, you can see that our tool succeeded in scraping 60 followers from my page. Here are the 60 followers that is great for us. Over here. So here we are getting when the account was created, their description, followers count, friends count, location, their name. When we scrape them, we're also getting their screen name, if they're verified, and the link to their website if they have attached it in their profile. Now, to get these followers to our workflow right here in any turn, I'll just click on API right here. Then I'll scroll down below, it says get data set items and copy this link and go back to our workflow. And then here, I'll search for the HTTP request node and click on the node right here. Then here, well, I'm going to paste the link that we just copied and then click on execute step. You can see it's waiting to execute right here. You can see that our node was executed successfully. And here we're getting the 60 followers that we just scraped using our tool. So here we're getting the user ID, screen name, description, prof the link to the profile image, followers count, friends count, when the account was created, they would link to their website, their name, business account, and when we scrape them over here. So we're getting all this data right here by adding this link over here. Now, instead of having to manually add our data set ID right here, we can create a simple workflow that will automatically scrape the followers for us right here in any time. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'll, I'll delete these URL and then I'll open Appify's documentation. And then down below, I'll search for the API that we'd like to call. I'm going to click on the run after synchronously with inputs and get data set items API. And then here I'll copy the C URL. And then I'll go back to our workflow. And then here I'll click on import C URL and paste the C URL that we just copied right here and click on import. Now, here there are three things that we're going to add. First thing we're going to add is the after ID, and then we're also going to add our API token right here, and the, the JSON down below over here. Let's start by, by adding the after ID over here. To find our after ID, I'll go back to our tool, then click on our tool. Then from the URL, we're going to copy the unique ID of this tool, which is in the search URL. Then go back to our tool and paste the unique ID right here. Now after adding our after ID, we're going to add our API token. So I'll click on expression right here point it right here so we can add our token now to find our token i'll go back to appify then click on settings and then i'll click on api and integration here i'll delete this first here i'll create a new token by clicking on create a new token right here then add the description right here for example we can call it test and then click on create i've renamed it to test so i can delete it later on and then yeah i'll copy this token then go back to our workflow and paste the token right here remember not to include a space in the end and then click on back to canvas and then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a json so in the specify body we're going to use json and then here we're going to add our json to find our json we says manual and json click on json then here copy this json and then go back to our workflow and paste the json right here so here let's try scraping out 60 followers from my page so here I'll click on back to canvas. Here I'll click on execute workflow. Then 
yeah, you can see that our workflow was executed successfully. So if I open this node, you can see we scraped 60 followers from my page. And here are their data, like their name, website, follow account, friends account, profile, image link, description, and the screen name. That is awesome. I rename this node to Twitter followers scraper and click on rename. And now we can proceed to add our followers to a Google spreadsheet. In Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Twitter followers scraper. In this spreadsheet, I've created a sheet that I've renamed to Twitter followers. Here, we're going to add their name, username, following, followers, their website URL. We're also going to add their description, their page URL. To add our followers to this spreadsheet, I'll go back to my tool. And here, I'll search for Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheets. Then I'll click on append row in a sheet. Here, you'll need to create a new credential by clicking on by clicking on sign in with Google. And then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you'd like to connect to any time. Since I had already created my connection, I'm going to close this. And then here, I'm going to find our, our spreadsheet, which is this spreadsheet. And here, we're going to find our spreadsheet. And then here, we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet with the data that we scraped using Appify. So for the name, we're going to add the name right here. Username, we're going to drag the screen name right here. Here for the following, you can add their friends over here. The followers, you can drag their followers over here. The website URL, you can drag the website URL over here. Description, you can drag the description over here. It seems like it is not showing the URL over here. We can decide to add their location instead. Go back to our spreadsheet, you can rename this to location instead of URL since then. The auto is not scraping their page URL. I'll come over here and refresh it. Now we can add the location over here. Drag it over here. Now to add our followers to our special, just click on execute step. Sexy, it's executing our node. Now we added our 60 followers to our spreadsheet. Now here I'll come back to Canvas. And we can rename this to Twitter followers. And click on rename. When we open our spreadsheet, you can see the 60 followers that we added over here who follow my page. If we add in the name, username, following, followers, the website URL, if they have a website URL in their profile. We also add in their description and their location here in our spreadsheet using the simple workflow that I created right here in any time. So we can try testing our workflow one more time. One time by scraping followers from a different account. So here, you now JSON, I'm going to choose the account that I would like to scrape followers. For example, we can try to scrape followers from Elon Musk's account and try to scrape 60 followers from his account. So to do that, I'll go back to our canvas and execute our workflow again. You can see that our workflow was executed successfully. Yeah, when I open this node, you can see now we scraped 60 followers from Elon Musk's account. We got their data right here, got their screen name, description, profile image, follow account, friends account, media account, location, website, and if they're verified, we got a total of 60 followers that we scraped. Then we added the followers to our spreadsheet. Now when I open my spreadsheet, you can see we added 60 more followers here in my spreadsheet. These are Elon Musk's followers. We added to our spreadsheet using the simple workflow that I created right here in Anytan. So here we are scraping the Twitter followers using this tool in Appify. Then we are adding our followers to our spreadsheet. This is the tool that we're using to scrape our followers in any turn. Right here, and then we're adding this followers to our spreadsheet. We're going to this spreadsheet right here. Where we're adding their name, username, following, followers, website URL, description, and their location. If you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using any turn, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using Anytime. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.